Shalom, Chag Chanukah Sameach. Chag Sameach, everyone. Tonight is the seventh lighting on the Hanukkah, which we're excited about. But Noam, would you sing your, with your beautiful voice? Yes. Okay. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotah Vetzihivanu Leadlik Ner Shel Chanukah Say Amen really slow. Amen. Yay! Thank you, Lord. For the increase, you, for the increase of light, for the increase, may we as the body of the Messiah increase with his light that when we walk through every corridor or every marketplace that people turn mm -hmm. and they see us because he is the light of the world. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So today the number seven. So as we know in the Bible, number seven is complete. Completeness, um, you know, the world was created in seven yes. days. On the seventh day, the Lord rested. So I see it as if yesterday it was about toil and struggle. Mm -hmm. Today is about completing everything. Yes, and peace for the Sabbath rest. Yes. I mean, the Lord so knows how we how he created us Noam, right. that we need that that sanctuary of time mm -hmm. of the sabbath rest yes. we need to be able just to put everything aside separate from the six days mm -hmm. um which can be six days of real stress yeah, but, indeed. but when he comes in and subdues our enemies yes. and um knowing that lord you created this sanctuary a holy time for us. Thank you, Father. Yes, to have the rest in Him after all the toil and struggles that we had. Yes. And also the Israelites, they had to really struggle against the Greek. So now it's completed. Yes. So they can rest. And one of the things that has really been on my heart, Noam's heart, is that, um, you know, when Elijah said to Naaman, the great commander mm -hmm. uh, of the army, um, and his, remember the servant girl said, you, she went to get Elijah. And Elijah said to Naaman, Naaman, he said, dip in the Jordan River seven times. Well, for us, even as we read that now, we think, well, what, what was the big deal? Well, first of all, it was obedience. And second of all, it was completion. Mm -hmm. It was not yeah. only for his physical body to be healed of leprosy, but completion of spirit, soul, and body. Right, and I also see in the destruction of uh, Jericho mm -hmm. that they circled seven times. Yes. And it was the Lord's power that completed the whole process. Yes, just as he defeated yes. um, the enemies of Israel. So another thing is, Noman and I have been really, really been on our hearts just because of what I've gone through with the slip mm -hmm. disc and everything else. Um, uh, we, we know there's so many incompleted issues in people's lives. Right. Things that are not resolved that I feel like the Lord just wants to push us to resolve some of, some of these um, unresolved issues in our life that we have put aside. And yes. this is the time during Hanukkah to resolve these issues and say, Lord, I, I'm going to do what you asked me to do. Yes, or things that we put under the carpet yes. we didn't want to face. And yes. sometimes the Lord is pushing us to face them because we didn't do it by ourselves. Because he wants complete restoration and right. he wants to complete it so that we can walk out of that situation with complete peace. Amen. So that's what yes. we wanted to share with you tonight. We think it's really important in this hour to understand how he speaks to us mm -hmm. and how he brings revelation to increase our knowledge of how holy he is thank you yeshua that you are the light of the world yes so we pray peace for all of you who are watching yes. peace and the light of the lord of hanukkah we love you guys love you